Six months later, at home in Boston, I opened a package sent by Carol. Inside was a book, not a Bible, but a devotional book about the gospel. flesh. 
I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36, 26. The Lord also restored the years the locust had eaten and made me a new man. So, rend your heart and not your garments, and I will restore the years the locust has eaten. Joel 2, 13 and 25. Though unworthy, I am a believer and consent to be loved, knowing the Lord will never leave me nor forsake me. That is, in Christ, I dare to live as a forgiven Christian. In summer 1984, while I was looking for a job, our rented house was sold, so we had to move. Within a week, one of Justine's friends from our then church told us of a larger six-bedroom house for rent nearby. The rent was at the same price we paid for the smaller house. The owners of the larger house went to our church, accepted us on site without a credit check, and didn't even require a security deposit. The Lord undertakes for his own. Hilda's journey. One day, a year later, I was visiting my mother in Virginia. She said to me, why are you now a murderous anti-Semite? A Mulsim Antishitin. Yiddish. She viewed Lutheran Germany, Catholic Poland, etc., as approving of and abiding in the Nazi Holocaust. I follow Rabbi Jesus, Rabbi Yeshua, I replied, not the church with its history of persecuting Jews, the Crusades, pogroms, the Inquisition. Rabbi's teachings, called Gospels, are very Jewish. You would agree with 90% of them, except perhaps that Yeshua is the promised Mashiach, Messiah. Hilda interrupted, Shrai, shut up. <laughs> 20 years later, after Hilda's funeral, I was clearing out her house. There besides Hilda's old-fashioned rotary phone was a gospel tract with a scribble on the back page written on the signature line. I have kept the tract. Did Hilda accept Christ? Was she saved? Will we meet and embrace in heaven? Family. In July, coming up, Justine and I are to celebrate our 52nd wedding anniversary. Our family is five daughters and 12 grandchildren. Of these, one is a grandson, and 11 are granddaughters. <laughs> Although our five daughters were brought up as Christians, several had become kosher Orthodox Jews. We love them and pray for them that they will be born again. Upward steps. Some upward steps have been slow, with many a buffet and temptation day by day. Many a blessing too, day by day. All the same, upward steps there have been and continue. Especially when newly saved, I made prayer lists and prayed for persons to whom I owed apologies, and made lists of persons who had hurt me and needed to be forgiven. I would walk and pray aloud for each name daily. Some persons I phoned, some I saw face to face. Watertown Evangelical. Seven years ago, Ed and Irene Krikorian encouraged Justine and I to visit Watertown Evangelical Church. Upon arriving, we felt at home, at ease, blessed by Pastor Calvin's powerful, uplifting, Bible-based preaching, and the friendly, coming alongside fellowship of the congregation. My faith has grown just by attending church week after week. Why? Because we get to see and to participate in the reality 
that we worship a living God who is still doing miracles and who continues to transform lives. Yes. Justine and I are blessed to attend Watertown Evangelical Church. To God be the Lord.